dear students today i will teach you how to create an electricity bill calculator using excel sheet we should have sum it's one of the function if another function and one more operator i am going to use that is and operator it's a logical operator by the way please subscribe to my channel root 4m gtv let's begin this is the model for you uh, having uh, many different uh, uh, field names like you should have the name of the customer customer number customer address build number build date due date previous reading date meter number meter number in the sense your meter that is electricity meter where you can see the readings and then most important is current reading and previous reading because these two are become the basis for further calculations and followed by total number of energy consumption two slab rates i have and total amount of energy uh, outstanding if you have uh, need to pay ex extra money that you should uh, pay here if it is a late fee that is penalty becomes a gross amount and suppose if you have paid already some excess money in the previous uh, time of your bill so that should be put up here and then finding the final total amount okay now where the calculation actually starting is here under total number of energy consumption look at this uh, formula sum sum of i8 that is this column i and this is row i8 minus j8 so the formula for finding energy total energy consumption is equal to current reading minus previous reading then you will get the answer usually current reading will be higher than the previous reading it's nothing but previous previous month uh, reading minus this month reading okay or every time uh, electricity board have certain slab rates so for example here some of the countries uh, have like this uh, till 100 units no amount will be charged from 101 onwards some amount will be charged so slab 1 falls under this category where you have total energy consumption is 100 equal to 100 so it is waived off zero suppose is more than 100 your energy consumption is more than 100 then it should be calculated for 2.13 per unit okay that becomes your total energy amount since it is going to become zero every time so it is not required to include in the energy amount formula okay so i am just capturing only the sum of this particular value m8 so outstanding means you need to pay some money in the previous bill that is added to the current bill so that is comes here and if it is a late fee you have to uh, pay the bill today but uh, you are going to pay after one week so electricity board will be charging certain penalties that should be coming here so the formula for gross amount is nothing but energy amount plus outstanding plus penalty becomes your gross amount that's why it is say here sum sum of n8 n8 okay n8 plus o8 plus penalty so it is not required to put plus just automatically you just uh, double click and from here drag till here automatically it will take i think uh, this you know very well okay excess paid means you already paid some extra money some 2 rupees 3 rupees paid already so that should be deducted from this gross amount and then becomes your total net amount okay let me fill this uh, excel sheet okay mm. alex customer number some number okay address uh, chennai 
bill number bill number is any anything will be okay bill date uh, let's say for example like um, 12-3-2019 you can uh, formulate this according to your understanding okay due date uh, will be like um, 1 one 2020 okay previous bill date uh, 11 3 2019 okay meter number some number okay this is important so current reading as i said current reading will always be higher than the previous reading so let's have simple value thousand and previous reading is uh, like uh, maybe 700 and look here automatically changing here it becomes 300 so uh, 1000 minus 700 300 okay so here it already calculated that's why it becomes zero as the formula says here look if k8 that is energy consumption k column and 8 is row so this is the cell so this cell is greater than lesser than is equal to 100 that means then k8 multiplied by 0 why because the slab is like this till 100 unit no charges so that is the formula here so that's why it becomes 0 okay how this value is coming for 26 how it is coming so here what I am doing is I have included an operator that is called AND operator. So AND operator when you use both the arguments one argument and second argument or this is also called as a logic 1 and logic 2. If both the logics are true then it should be calculated at the rate of 2.13. Okay that is the formula. Okay, let me do a normal calculation. Okay, now you have 300, right? 300 minus 100 is the slab rate. 100 units waved off. So, 200 is the balance multiplied by 2.13. So, you will get answer 146. This is the appropriate calculation. Suppose if you do the calculation the other way, 300 multiplied by 2.13 then minus 100 it becomes wrong why because you are not calculating the total amount actually you are calculating the total units for the slab one that is why the formula is mentioned like this first this should become minus that is k8 minus 100 that is 300 minus 100 becomes 200 then it becomes calculating this but at the same time if you wanted to perform this calculation then this argument becomes true is it true yes of course it is k is greater than k8 is greater than 100 yes it is greater than 100 look 300 no 300 is greater than 100 so it is passing logical is correct so this logic if it is correct then this calculation should execute all right okay now um, energy consumption has been captured from here automatically so now automatically your gross amount and your net amount will be available supposing if there is no penalty or outstanding or excess paid suppose if it is then this calculation should be changed so let me say like uh, already I need to pay uh, 50 rupees I need to pay okay it is adding here okay I'm going to pay in the next week maybe uh, maybe 20 is a penalty so it's changing okay suppose I paid something uh, extra in the previous maybe 10 rupees I paid already some excess value so 486 is the final amount I should pay for this month right so this is it this is how the simple 
calculation and calculator will work you can apply the formula for one particular cell and you can drag and drop till here or till any automatically the formula will be applying as you can see in any field if you click the formula will be available so one time you insert the formula and drag and drop till how many lines automatically it works okay thank you for watching please subscribe to my channel root for mgtv thank you this is professor raj see you again goodbye